We have this patient with us, a 40 year old man um, with a history of oral carcinoma or oral cancer that he has successfully defeated two years back. So he's disease free as of now. Operated in the year 2020. In turns, we see this facial disfigurement is because there is no bony support on the left side. So it's been a hemimandibulectomy and hemiglossectomy also. The scars that we see is because of a neck dissection. So what we've planned is a 3D reconstructed implant which is going to host a TP or a fibula flap. That means bone from the leg is going to come here with a prosthesis that's going to sit here. Like a knee replacement, we're going to have a temporomandibular joint replacement. That's a plan. We've got some um, doctors and surgeons who've come to help us out also with this case. Uh, it's a pretty challenging one when we're thinking it's going to take about seven to eight hours. This guy is now day four after our team has done a major fibular reconstruction of the mandible. And you can see this is the skin tissue. These are all the grafts. This is day five. Uh, post uh, reconstructive surgery, we've done um, a free fibular flap reconstruction and uh, also used a PSI, that is a patient specific implant for reconstructing the left mandibular defect. So you can see this improvement. Yes, there's still a lot of healing there. You can see some sutures, all of that's gonna go. But you can see the issues that he had. Very severe issues, severe scarring. There's literally no lower jaw on that side. And you can see this. All of that has got fullness. Okay, so very major reconstructive bone or post oncologic surgery. Still gonna take a couple of weeks before I could say he's totally healed. You can see this part of the face was totally missing, especially the lower jaw, the teeth had all gone inside. And uh, we're gonna show you the improvement. So this is the processes we have used. Uh, there are a few screws here because the, that's the processes on the head for the joint. And this is the joint which is done on the lower jaw. And you can see inside that is a bone that was harvested from the leg. patient with us, a 40 year old man um, with a history of oral carcinoma or oral cancer that he has successfully defeated two years back. So he's disease free as of now. Operated in the year 2020, he mentions he had a sharp tooth and the edge was constantly rubbing against his tongue. He goes to a local doctor and um, they see an ulcer on the lateral border of the tongue that is on one side of the tongue. In his case, it's the left side. He was diagnosed with squamous cell carcinoma of the tongue and also of the GBS on the left side because of which he underwent hemiglossectomy meaning that half of the tongue was resected and it has to be it had to be removed to declare cancer free and also half of his mandible by mandible will mean the part of his lower jaw if he turns we see this facial disfigurement is because there is no bony support on the left side so it's been a hemimandibulectomy and hemiglossectomy also. The scars that we see is because of a neck dissection. If you can turn a little bit towards the right, we see these scars are because of a neck dissection that has been done. It's been done in his hometown. The neck dissection is basically uh, for the lymph nodes that drain in this system and that are basically the carriers um, for the cancer. So as of now, he has taken chemotherapy, radiation therapy and has undergone surgery. 
he is cancer free since 2 years but what he needs now is rehabilitation rehabilitation in two forms in functional as well as cosmetic aesthetically uh, there is no bony support he is not able to chew if you ask him to open his mouth yes so if and you can look straight the mouth opening is quite restricted as we can see and it's also deviated on one side there is no mandible or bony support on the left also the teeth which he which he has and is existing are all uh, decayed or mutilated because of radiation um, less saliva production therefore also he is a known diabetic an uncontrolled diabetic uh, so all in all it's going to be a reconstructive major surgery for him uh, probably with the help of a free flap and a osseous free flap uh, we'll plan now dr chachan has had a look uh, he has ct scans with him which have been evaluated and we'll plan for a surgery thereafter a reconstructive surgery as a post onco uh, or a post oncology which is a post cancer rehabilitative surgery Thank you. So we're planning a major reconstructive surgery for this gentleman. He with this. oral cancer for which he had a major resective surgery elsewhere done a few years ago this is his deformity now this side of the face is totally sunken in has lost his height here but most importantly is his functional aspect why don't you bite clean it so he doesn't have any teeth that's joining so he has major issues with regards to his chewing eating and even speaking so the surgery is aimed at restoring these functional aspects of his face that he has lost but while we do that we are also going to augment his facial aesthetics and symmetry and balance so what we've planned is a 3D reconstructed implant which is going to host a tibia or a fibula flap that means bone from the leg is going to come here with a prosthesis that's going to sit here like a knee replacement we're going to have a temporomandibular joint replacement that's a plan we've got some um doctors and surgeons who've come to help us out also with this case uh, it's a pretty challenging one when we thinking it's going to take about 7 to 8 hours
ரத்த குழாயெல்லாம் எடுத்து இந்த பக்கம் வச்சிருக்கோம் திரும்பிட்டீங்கன்னா அதை வந்துடும் ராம் அப்படியே சரியா So this guy is now day four after our team has done a major fibular reconstruction of the mandible and you can see this is the skin tissue, these are all the grafts, uh, it was a microvascular surgery or a flea free flap. So from here the bone that was this long was harvested along with the blood supply that was taken over to the jaw. And now you can see the doctor just checking the that's enough, viability of the flap. And you can see that there's a small drop of blood coming there. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's okay. Leave it. That's fine. It's okay. Uh, here we are post of day 5 today and uh, we have started to uh, make the patient sit down, uh, started chest physio already two days ago and uh, he did have, you see all these drains here, these are glove drains uh, just to rescue all, uh, any kind of uh, bleeding so that we do not have any hematoma in the neck region. So the neck is where uh, the anastomosis has been done uh, because a fibula flap was taken for him. So the free fibula uh, flap, the peroneal arteries have been anastomosed with the facial artery, which is the vein. Um, so we 
do not want any compression on this area and uh, that is why you, so, you don't see any tracing, you see these grains here. Now apart from that you see a lot of cubes going on all over his body. Mm -hmm. One is the right still where he's getting his beads. Um, that is the, we have a neck grain, we have a leg grain and uh, the leg grain now the uh, quantity is minimal so we plan to remove it tomorrow and uh, that is a dressing both the legs we do not want any DVT because the patient is not ambulatory yet and uh, we have placed some stockings on his legs so a lot of things going on in a post-op uh, cancer patient uh, we have to give utmost care because uh, there are a lot of complications also associated with post uh, CA patients but this was more of a reconstructive surgery uh, he doesn't have a tracheostomy so uh, he's breathing well without O2 uh, vitals are stable as of now he's always been stable post up and he's been getting good care and he's doing well Day by day, he's, um, he's himself feeling better. Um, his blood levels are in the normal range, although he did require um, about three units of transfusion over the course of the past uh, four days. But that is nothing unusual for, for such a major reconstructive surgery. Yes, so uh, the, the fibula flap, uh, the pedicle, so if there is, you see, right. so this is the flap that you see which is also uh, there is a flap inset intraorally which we prick every day to check whether the flap is healthy or not. We've already pricked twice and I'm going to do it again. Um, as of now the flap is healthy, it's bleeding so it's good news for us and um, very soon uh, he will be ambulatory and uh, we are really happy with the progress of this patient. And, um, he has nothing to be worried about. Alright, so this is day 5. Uh, post uh, reconstructive surgery, we've done um, uh, free fibula flap reconstruction and uh, also used a PSI, that is a patient specific implant, for reconstructing the left mandibular defect. Uh, this patient had undergone a hemiglossectomy, hemimandibulectomy two years ago. Uh, PET scan has been taken, he's cancer free. He wanted rehabilitation uh, for the left lower jaw so that he can, uh, we can restore his function. He can eat, chew properly even from the left as well as the right side. Uh, what you see here is the dressing. Uh, we have done the anastomosis here. So there's no compression dressing where there are glove drains placed. Um, although the bleeding has stopped now. Uh, if you see his leg, uh, until yesterday we had the leg drain, we've just removed it, done another dressing. That is the area, that is the leg where we have taken the flap uh, from. Um, so with the leg drain being removed, uh, we still have this neck drain intact and the Riles tube uh, through which he's getting all his feeds. Uh, he's not taking anything intraorally, that is why we have this uh, Riles tube for the feeding. He is getting adequate fluids also, so we are keeping him hydrated. His HP is on the lower side hemoglobin, um, but it is improving as days pass by. A um, few things we have to uh, be worried about uh, post-op for these patients is ambulation. So as of now, he is still not ambulatory, making him sit, giving him chest physiotherapy. Um, but he should be walking maybe in another two days from now and um, other than that 
இல்லை ஆஸ் த பேஷன் ஆஸ் டு ஹவ் இஸ் ஃபீலிங் இஃப் இஸ் ஹேவிங் எனி பெயின் உங்களுக்கு ஏதாவது வலி இருக்கா வலி சுத்தமாக இல்லை அங்கே மட்டும் லைட்டாக வலி இருக்கா இங்கே காலையா லேஸ் லைட்டாக ம் ஓகே so he's just complaining of mild pain on the left uh, leg from where the flap was harvested but apart from that he doesn't have any pain um he is comfortable and um, the good thing is uh, this patient has a very positive attitude which is very important for a cancer patient and especially the family support um that is very very crucial because if these patients lose hope uh they don't have this positive attitude it is very uh, difficult for um them to heal well because you know it's very important they understand what we are doing um and we are on the same page both the patient as well as the doctors pre op intra op post op everything so um his family has been very supportive his wife is here in the hospital all this is patient is still there in the icu we will plan to shift him very soon um he's been getting good care good adequate um, nourishment so we are expecting a good outcome um it's all good as of now uh and once he's ambulatory we'll probably show you uh how he's moving around we'll remove the neck drain soon as soon as the uh there is no drainage or very minimal drainage uh it's about 12 mm so expect it to be removed by tomorrow maybe when it comes down to 5 or 2 mm apart from that is fine we'll follow up tomorrow and we'll show you how he is doing thank you reconstructive surgery for this chappy who has come with his wife he's in his 40s he had this cancer surgery done elsewhere a couple of years ago had a huge residual deformity that was preventing him from chewing on to food stuffs had a bad deformity on the face so we've sorted that out and as you would have known from what we've done in the earlier videos but into the same gentleman anyway i'm just quickly going to go through a recap we did Uh, what is called as a bone graft flap from the leg so it was a flap that we harvested from here a team microvascular surgery was done and then that was placed here so there was also less skin here so one of the skin paddles was outside why thoranga 
So you can see his mouth opening is quite okay already. It's about three finger breadths now. And it's got nice shape to the job. I'm going to show you the scan as well. So along with reconstructing the lower jaw, we've also done a temporomandibular joint reconstruction. So this side, he has an artificial joint now, a prosthetic one. And you can see the incision for that. So we use this incision on the scalp for the joint replacement. And, and on that joint replacement prosthesis, which is a PSI or a patient specific implant, which we had done with a CAD CAM model, the flat from the leg, the bone and the soft tissue is placed from inside with a microvascular anastomosis by a three member surgical team. He was there with us for two weeks and he's going back today all well. Uh, yes, he still needs some physiotherapy and he's going to get some dental rehab in the following weeks. I'm going to quickly go over and show you the scans before and after so you get the idea of what we've done in his 3D uh, imaging. Thanks. So this is him when he came here. So you're going to see the improvement. Uh, yeah, so there you see, that was a side view. So you see that his whole jaw has come up. It was not there. Look at this. So you can see this improvement. Yes, there's still a lot of healing there. You can see some sutures, all of that's going to go. But you can see the issues that he had. Very severe issues, severe scarring. There's literally no lower jaw on that side. And you can see this. All of that has got fullness. Okay, so very major reconstructive post-oncologic surgery. Still going to take a couple of weeks before I could say he's totally healed. This is how he came to us. I'm going to show you the date for this. Like, yeah, he's got it in his way. Huh. So this was on 13 6, uh, sorry, third, it was, um, was 8th. In the June learning is first day. So this was come when he came for the first consultation. Uh, so that was the sixth month, June. And now what happened here? Yeah. So you can see this part of the face was totally missing, especially the lower jaw. The teeth had all gone inside. And now this is him today, 25th. And uh, we're going to show you the improvement. So this is the processes we have used. Uh, there are a few screws here because the, that's the processes on the head for the joint. And this is the joint which is done on the lower jaw. And you can see inside that is a bone that was harvested from the leg. And these are some clips that has come out of the microvascular uh, anastomosis. And you can see the teeth are now joining. I'm trying to go and show you. This is some other views, but we're going to show you some probably clearer views now. I'm going to open it just this too. Yeah. So now you go, you have direct one on one comparison and you can see the improvement. Look at the distance of the chin from the teeth because this had totally collapsed. And then we have this entire prosthesis now. So this is what we call as temporomandibular joint prosthesis or a joint replacement. I'm sure most of you have heard of knee replacements and hip replacements also. So we also have temporomandibular joint replacements, though it's not done for a lot of patients. But yes, when you have the right indication, it's a big boon for patients because it can make them give back their chewing ability. It can make them get back their ability to open the mouth. And most importantly, it also gives them facial symmetry in a very severe kind of a case like this one. Uh, these two stumps that you see are our patient-specific implant but abutments. The teeth would come on these later on. So everything is healed and nice. And um, you see two small clips here. We call them eyelets. Uh, we would take them off eventually once all the healing is over. What is this? Five So you see, this is his file. <laughs> he has a very thick file because he stayed with us for about two weeks. And he's had a very, very long surgery as well. All done, he's good to leave. And that's what you see the scan as well. Sorry. You have a report. You have a scan. 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 
ஜஸ்ட்டு ஃபேஸில் ஆரம் மட்டும் செய்யணும் கால் மத்த டாக்டர் பண்ண மாதிரி பார்த்து ஃபாலோ அப் பண்ணிடுங்க ஏதாவது டவுட் இருந்தால் நீங்கள் லேண்ட்லைன் அடிங்க அவங்களுக்கு சொல்லுவாங்க அவங்களுக்கு கூப்பிட்டு போகும் திருப்பி Thank you, sir. Sure. And thank you, hospital. Thank you.